Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are on the east coast of Taiwan. I will be exploring a small creative town that I have been so excited to visit and I'm very excited to bring you along. We're going to be doing some beach activities, a little bit of cultural exploration, and just seeing what this town has to offer. So come along with me to explore the famous seaside village of Tulang. The best way to get to Dulan if you're going by public transit is to take the train to Taidong Station. I took the train from Taipei and the ride is one of the most beautiful in Taiwan, in my opinion, passing by Ilan, Hualien, and even the famous Qing Shui Cliffs. If you take any train ride in Taiwan, it's gotta be this one. Also, upon arrival at Taidong Station, don't forget to collect the stamp at the station and then for the final leg of the trip, we'll need to catch a bus. All right, so we have made it to Taidong. Finally, oh my gosh. So the journey is almost over, and if I remember correctly, the bus, the shuttle we should get will be over here for 8103. It's actually extremely convenient that they have this bus area because you know you can just like walk out of the station and all of the buses are quite organized. So I have found mine for Dulan. Welcome everybody to the room here. It is a six bunk um, dorm and this is my spot right here. There's like a nice little spot to put some things. We got an outlet, but let me go show you the star of the show. Yep, we are going up this ladder. Not gonna lie, the stairs give me some anxiety, but it is worth the climb for this rooftop terrace area. Like, check it out. Oh my God, there's a hammock. I ain't seen one of y'all in so long. Look at that view, like. <laughs> this is exactly where I belong, in a hammock. Ah. <laughs> I'm so excited to be in Dulan, not just because this is the third time I've planned a trip here and it's the only one that has actually happened, but because everything I've heard about Dulan really kind of vibes with who I am. People are like talking about the ocean and like kind of hippie vibes and you know, like I don't surf even though I'm going to. Just the things that I heard about it really attracted me here based on the other types of places I've lived where I felt really happy and really in tune. Like even just talking with the host here, I'm like, oh yeah, the energy is just mm, so good. A dog now. <laughs> Bye! My first impression of the beach here is well, first of all, I've been to the East Coast, so I know that all of the beaches on the East Coast are absolutely gorgeous. And I also very well know that the ocean here, as beautiful as it is, may kill me. I gotta say though, the sand is like extremely soft right here. The views are just amazing and like I feel this whole energy just like re-entering my body that I kind of lost in Taipei. Yes, I had tons of fun in Taipei, but there's like this like natural energy that comes to me from the environment here and the people and like, oh, I cannot wait. I'm so excited for the next following days and to take you along the journey. And while I am fearful to swim in this water, I, I'm going to give it a go at surfing. So stick around for that. As the sun fell in the west, the clouds over the mountains shined the brightest colors. It was so gorgeous, it felt like a welcome gift from Dulan. And speaking of welcomes, our host invited everyone from our hostel for dinner. And as someone who's lived in Taiwan for a while, there's something so satisfying about watching other travelers here discover Taiwanese foods. The next morning, I introduced my friend Electra to her very first Taiwanese breakfast. And that of course meant damping, and my personal favorite, le bo gao, So good. Oh, yay, she likes it. <laughs> and afterwards, we spent a little bit of time wandering around the town of Dulan before visiting one of the main attractions. 
Welcome to the old sugar factory here in Dulan. I read about this so many times, so obviously I had to stop by to check it out and learn more about it. So it was opened in 1916 and it was a sugar factory. It actually mainly produced brown sugar, which gotta be honest, is one of the best sugars out there. During World War II, apparently they actually produced alcohol at that time. And then they went back to producing sugar until it was subsequently closed. But there's been a revival of it due to artists taking over the factory and the warehouses around it. There are performances specifically during weekends. So right now it's a weekday, so there's nothing happening right now. So we've spent some time wandering around the sugar factory and my conclusion is unless you come out here on a weekend, it's probably not gonna be too active. I honestly think everything is very expensive for like all of the, the things that you can buy. Definitely come on a weekend because there's also like some bars and restaurants, but it seems like mostly everything is closed. But right now, to me, honestly, this is the coolest thing here. If you've seen my Jimin videos, you know that I live for this stuff. But we can't find a way in, so like, the most fun part of the old sugar factory for me, I cannot fully enjoy, but it's still okay. okay. <laughs> After a somewhat uh, visit to the sugar factory, the next thing on our to-do list made up for it with a visit to the Ami's resting place for a midday meal. There's no menu, but you get served a set of dishes, and the owner shared with us the cultural traditions around the Amis people, one of them being that they use their hands to eat. If you consider yourself a foodie, this place is a must visit. But be sure to make reservations ahead of time. Good afternoon, everybody. Right now, me and my friend Electra, we are on our way to do one of the most popular activities in Dulan, which is surfing. You might have seen Electra appear in this video, so Electra, um, tell us, where are you from and how are you enjoying your first time in Taiwan? Hi, I'm Electra. <laughs> I'm from Greece and I'm loving Taiwan so far. I'm really excited about surfing today. It's my first time. <laughs> yeah, and it is my third time surfing. The first time I was in an accident. The second time was okay, but we're hoping for the best. But yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. All right, we're gonna experience surfing in Dulan for the first time. Hi everyone, I'm Bei Bei. I've been surfing over 20 years and uh, I do surf less than over 10 years now. And I do have a surf shop uh, at the uh, Taedong Donghe, uh, nearby the main road. One of my passion from the beginning, I was a competitor. And then I started got the passion to like uh, teaching people. I want to share my joy with them. From Baby's surf shop in Donghe, she brought us to a location that would be suitable for newbies like Electra and I. And the views were pretty spectacular along the way, as they seem to be everywhere here. Once we unloaded our board, Bebe shared the beach map with us and showed us how to read it to understand the beach tides to keep safe. And we started with the most essential things to do when learning how to surf, standing up and how to stay on the board. On the ground, we mainly practiced how to stand up, but Bebe also taught us lots of techniques to help us balance when we were in the water and made sure that we landed in the proper positions that would help us stay up. Okay, ready? One. One, only one. She was also great at calling us out yeah. when we did it wrong Three. and making sure that we did it until we got it right. You, yes. Now, while we may have mastered standing up on the ground, actually doing it on the water is a different story. There's so many things to think about, such as pushing yourself up, slide your leg up, where to stand on the board. Meanwhile, you have the water gliding underneath you. So while Electra and I had plenty of wipeouts after drilling over and over and over and over, we had plenty of successes as well. And for me personally, I think for the first time, I feel I really learned how to surf and flowed with it, even if only a little bit. Not to mention, Bebe is the best cheerleader and the best critic. Her attitude encouraged us to learn fast, and I'm so glad that we went with her as our surf coach. Another thing that's pretty incredible about surfing here is the view of the mountains. I see why, aside from the waves, surfers love this place.
You guys, we did it! <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> it was super fun. I was kind of afraid, and I know you were afraid a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I've never done anything like that before, and I, I, I didn't even think I could stand on the board, but I, I did. So yeah. Yeah, that's 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 good. <laughs> we stood on the board multiple times, and I definitely think. Oh, uh, Bebe is a great instructor. Like every single time she's like, you did this wrong, you did yeah, this yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. But with that said, Bebe is also so supportive. So when you're doing it right, she's like cheering you on and you're like, oh my God, I'm doing a good job. So like, she's giving you the best of like correcting you and also making you feel really supported as a student. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what makes a good teacher for sure. Yeah, definitely. So are you interested in surfing again? Yes, yes, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel more motivated to surf now, especially in the, I don't know, it was just a really good round. Like I felt like I, I feel proud. Yeah. I feel proud of us. If you guys want to visit Bebe, go check the link in the description. I will put all her information there. She's an awesome instructor. Like, I don't think you can go wrong with surfing lessons in Dulan. Uh, just, just, just go, go see Bebe, okay? You will not regret it. And that's a wrap for this Dulan video. Reflecting on my time here, it's so much of what I expected it to be, and that's a great thing. From having super cool hosts, amazing views and beaches, great food, and a chill vibe. It's truly a one-of-a-kind place in Taiwan. If you visit and you're looking for a cheap place to stay, definitely visit Dulan Friends Hostel. And as for surfing, you cannot go wrong with a lesson from Bebe. Thanks so much for watching, friends, as I explore a new corner of Taiwan. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.